This is Josh Fishman, President and Owner of A. Fishman & Son Diamonds in New York. Welcome back to our Ultimate Diamond Education Series. Yesterday I was prompted to think of doing this video about clarity enhanced or better known as fracture filled diamonds because of an experience I had with a young woman, Michelle, who came to my office with a problem. She had called me to tell me that she was uncertain about whether the diamond in her ring was a real diamond or not a real diamond. Background is that her fiancé had purchased a diamond from a wholesale to the public retailer down on Canal Street in New York with a large diamond in it and a 14 karat white gold mounting with some diamonds on the band and diamonds on the side of the band and it was such a cloudy hazy diamond that they decided to take it back and exchange it. So she brought back the new diamond which was a much smaller diamond with a badly set setting of that new diamond and she was unsure there was a, something in her gut that told her there was a problem. The jeweler had charged her an additional $3,500 for the exchange, theoretically an upgrade to a better diamond. I looked at that diamond very, very carefully, and it looked real, and that's what I told her. Then I looked much more closely, and I saw on the bottom of the stone a purple, pinkish line that looked like the following image. You can clearly see the pinkish line in the diamond. Let me explain. In an earlier video that I recorded titled Diamond Clarity Enhancements and Buying Guide, I discussed two types of clarity enhancements which are prevalent in the market today. One, laser drilling, which is not the subject of this video and two, clarity enhancements, otherwise known as fracture-filled diamonds. The process is that a heavily fractured diamond with many feathers exposed to the surface is injected with a clear type of substance which camouflages the fractures in the diamond. Take a look at this image and you will see a before and after image. And then I will discuss the case that happened yesterday. On the left is the diamond with the fracture before treatment, and on the right you can see it very much camouflaged after the fracture filling. But intrinsically, it is still a very heavily included and fractured diamond, a very poor one. So Michelle came to me yesterday with a diamond that had this pink flash effect that I showed you in the earlier image. And she didn't understand that it was a clarity enhanced or fracture filled diamond. She showed me the receipt which noted clarity enhanced diamond. Now she was not explained what that meant which is the biggest problem. By law a seller has to disclose the fact that a diamond has been treated in such a fashion. The law is inadequate because the disclosure came on the sales receipt but neither she nor her fiancé were explained what that meant. And she paid more for that diamond, that one carat smaller diamond, than she did for the bigger diamond, which was probably even worse. Maybe it wasn't worse. Maybe the seller just took advantage of her and her fiancé to get more money for this smaller diamond, which was fracture filled. So Michelle left my office with this sad news. Parenthetically, I hate being the messenger of such news, and I felt really terrible because I want to protect consumers from these retail predators, is what I call them. And a few minutes later, after she left, she called me back and said she had spoken to her fiancé, and could she come back up to my office and have me talk to her fiancé about what she could do and what they could do together to remedy the situation. So she came back in and I was speaking to her fiancé 
and I told her, and I told them both, that they should absolutely go and get their money back. The problem is that the sales receipt on this new diamond said no exchanges, sales are final, if they adjust any of the rings, there's no uh, returns, and that could create a problem for them. But in my opinion, it was a fraudulent transaction. Now get a load of the following. I asked uh, Michelle's fiance how much she paid and how much they paid for this diamond ring. And it turned out that they had paid eleven and a half thousand dollars for the original diamond and now three and a half thousand dollars more for the second diamond. So they had a total of fifteen thousand dollars invested in a simple 14 carat white gold mounting with some diamonds and a fracture-filled one-carat diamond. I was in shock. I had to ask them five times just to be sure that it was $15,000 that they had invested. This ring is worth maybe $1,500, but not $15,000. I told them they should absolutely get their money back. They should insist on it if necessary to call the police or call the Better Business Bureau, or sue them in small claims court. And the shock of this situation, and the tears that Michelle uh, spilled in my office and on my shoulder, is such that I felt compelled to alert all my friends and potential customers that you must take better uh, educational knowledge of what you're reading on the sales receipt. You must ask the seller exactly what he's selling to you. Not that it says clarity enhanced, but what does that mean? Is it a good diamond? Is it a poor diamond? And you should have absolutely the right 30 days to return any diamond that you buy. If you don't have 30 day refund rights, you should not make a purchase from that seller. I'm very passionate about this. I was really sad for Michelle and her fiancé, and I have asked them to let me know how it works out, because they don't deserve to be treated. No one deserves to be treated like this. I'm sorry for such a harsh message, but buyer beware still exists in today's market, and you must know from whom you're buying a diamond and whom you can trust. Until next time, this is Josh Fishman saying so long.